Now, if uh, you've got a cuppa, a hot cuppa in your hand, think on this. Coffee is now the second most valuable commodity in the world that is second only to oil. The explosion of cafes onto the high street with their array of drinks has fueled a global industry worth £40 billion a year, but very little of that is seen by the coffee farmers, and their plight is being highlighted in the latest documentary to hit the big screen. <laughs> With me, these lads are the makers of that film. They are the producers and the directors. They're also brothers, and they are Mark and Nick Francis. Now, now Nick, you think this particular relevance, the clip we saw there, just explain that. Well, I mean, us. it was interesting listening to Adam Bolton at the G8 summit. Mm. We had a screening of Black Gold uh, in Rodstock, close to where the summit's taking place over a few days ago. And what Black Gold ultimately shows is why for Africa, really to have any chance of development. It's all around trade. And what Black Gold shows uh, through the case of coffee is who's winning and who's losing in the global coffee industry. And it's poignant for us that tomorrow, June the 8th, Black Gold hits the cinemas across the UK. And it's going to give an opportunity for people to see why what's going on over there is directly relevant to their consumer day-to-day -day lifestyle. Indeed, the presidents uh, in the G8 were started their day with a cup of coffee. Yeah, now, I mean, you're following um, in a pattern, I suppose, set here, Mark, by Al Gore, this idea that, you know, a documentary can be entertaining and we can all learn something from it at, at the same time. Is this a depressing film? I mean, what, what is the message? What do you want to get across? <clears throat> the message is really to show another side to what's going on behind your coffee cup. Um, Why should people care? I think. I think increasingly more and more people care that what they spend their money on isn't going to be at the cost of millions of people struggling to survive, have health care, have access to a clean water supply. This is, this is something we're a nation, particularly here, you know, in Europe, generally in Europe and in, in North America, we, we do give a lot of aid mm -hmm. um, to help people out. Africa's got poor in the last 20 years and we've given, given the continent billions of dollars, yet it's one of the richest continents in the world. It has coffee, oil, cotton. Mm -hmm. And, you know, if, 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 a, fair if a fair price was paid to the, for the coffee in the first place, perhaps you wouldn't need to give them aid. I suppose people don't even know where coffee comes from. I always thought coffee came from Brazil uh, myself, but this is Africa that you're concentrating on. What, Nick, can be done to redress the balance? What, you know, people go along, they're moved by your film, what, but what difference can they, can they make? There's, 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 there's many things. I think if you, the top three, if you like, and I'll echo what Tedese Mescola, the main character in the film, he represents 75,000 coffee growers. I mean, he says awareness is the first step to change. And if more people found out how what's going on out there in Africa is directly relevant to their lifestyle uh, and what they can do, that's the first step to change. So hence going on to the cinema, he would say is the first way to get aware of what's going on. Yes. Secondly, how do we as consumers put pressure on companies who for the last 20 odd years have refused to pay so many farmers a, a wage above the cost of production? When we were filming Black Gold, Farmers were ripping up their coffee trees because they were being paid below the cost of production. And poignantly, and thirdly, I would say it's about putting pressure on the kind of politicians and the kind of political discussions happening at places like the G8 summit, where leaders are discussing these massive issues around trade, which for the last three G8 summits have completely slipped off the agenda. So we as consumers can really keep that pressure yeah. on. And the irony, I suppose, in the juxtaposition of what you're talking about, you could think of nothing more relaxing than a coffee bar, a cup of coffee in your hand, and then contrast it with the message that you're trying to get across. In cinemas from tomorrow, across the country or limited release? Across the country. Across the country. Well, we look forward to that. We look forward to the DVD. Boys, uh, good luck. Thank you very much. Indeed. Thanks for having us. Producers and directors of Black Gold, Nick and Mark Francis. Here's an update now what's happening sports wise before we say goodbye to you. Jackie Viltrao.